Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Welcome, welcome. Let's do a video on wedges. All right. Recently, I did a video on oil, and I was trying to explain why I do not like wedges. Even though I'm slightly bullish on oil, um, when I start seeing wedges, I don't like them. So I made a video trying to explain this on TradingView. And if you're not following me on TradingView, you should. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe this video. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, I think you're going to find it beneficial. And you can also follow me on Patreon. Uh, and I would advise that you even subscribe to Patreon. You're going to find a lot of value. All right. Now, don't. Don't think I'm going to be giving you the trade and you know, I'm going to make you a millionaire. And da -da. That's not what I do. Okay. You, you, are you serious about learning how to trade and invest and, and, and do it in a, uh, a proper manner? Come down. Okay. Now, I do charting, but charting in of itself is not the end all be all. And in trading and investing, I also contrast that with macroeconomic understanding, okay? And then we find the good risk rewards, and then we take the trades, we manage the trades, uh, and uh, and we go from there, okay? It's it's not this, oh, get rich, buy crypto, who, you know, from 65,000 all the way down to, you know, 15,000, it went up three ticks. It's like, oh my God, look how right it was. Isn't that awesome? I'm so smart. Subscribe to me. No, that, you won't get that here, all right? Forget about it. Uh, the other thing, in charting, I use bare knuckle charting, something I developed over the course of time. I was once new, just like most of you are, um, early on, and I fell into this trap where there's a lot of money to sit here and tell people about the RSI, the Elliott Wave, the Hokumokachuko, the Pine Script, uh, it removes emotion, um, you know, MACDs and moving averages and da 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 and look at the candlestick and look at this wick and then you change your time frame and the wick is gone so it tells you nothing. Um, there's a lot of money in that. Um, and you know, there's people writing books, you know, <laughs> selling them and uh, teaches you nothing. Believe me, if it worked, everybody else would be doing it and they would all be millionaires. Doesn't work. Uh, you need to learn how to do this right, okay? You need to learn how to manage risk. You need to understand the macroeconomics. You need to understand charting. And that takes time, okay? It's simple, but it takes time and practice, time and seat. All right. So let's get back to wedges, all right? Now, I'm going to play this video. This was done January 9th. All right, so let's play the video, and I'll explain here in a moment. Bullishness. You got your first high. Now you got a second high. Okay, it's going in the right direction. However, <laughs> there's always a however, right? However, look what's happening. You're starting to build a wedge-looking formation right at this resistance area. I hate wedges. I don't like them. <laughs> and the reason I don't like them is because they break one way and then do the other. Or they break down and then they start going up. Okay. There you go. And you know, one thing's for sure. All right. There you go. So you get whipsawed with wedges. Eventually they'll resolve. Uh, but more often than not, you're going to get whipsawed first. So let me show you an example of that. Here are small caps. See it? What happened? Broke one way. Broke the previous low. Turns around. Goes straight up. Breaks the previous high, turns around, and comes right back into structure. There you go. Magic. Magic. <laughs> let's take a look at oil since that uh, video and let's see what happened. Remember that wedge? Here it is. Right here. All right. What happened since that video? Breakout. Psych, <laughs> right back down. Try it again, psych, came back down. More likely than not, this is going to break to the downside, and then we're going to see what it does after that, and then we'll get some kind of resolution. All right. 
but that's why I made that video uh, in order to warn people not to get you know, trigger happy. And again, I'm going to I'm going to emphasize that the breaking of a line in of itself is not a big deal. OK, uh, and that's why I hate calling it resistance because it, it makes you think that once it, the price action is above the resistance that it's going to take off, you should enter and all, all that's going to happen is you're going to get whipsawed and then, you know, you're going to lose money. You know, set your little stop loss and da, 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 and then you'll die of a thousand paper cuts. So again, come down to Patreon. Join me on Trading View, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll let the work speak for itself. You can see my work over the course of years. Um, think, think about it like this. Um, I'm not perfect. I'm not supposed to be perfect. And nobody is perfect. However, you can hold me accountable to my work, okay? Um, it's the best way to know if you should follow someone. Why is this person more successful uh, than others? Why aren't others who are claiming to be experts not posting it here? I, I never understood that. They'll, they'll run around and tell everybody how great they are, but they'll never hold themselves accountable. It's so strange to me. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's it for this video. I hate wedges. Don't like them. Stay away from them. Be careful. All right, they'll get trigger happy. Uh, and uh, again, like, subscribe to this video. I'll give you small little pointers here and there for free. Uh, thank you again for your support. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.